Hello everybody, my name is Fully Gamer, and well, we're gonna watch the interview I did with Darby and Mayer. And just give me one second because I'm announcing this at the moment. There we go. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm just getting it ready at the moment. Um, hold on for f five seconds, please. Uh, so I interviewed Darby and Lair. I've, I've just edited it, and I thought I'd live stream it since it also uploads uh, automatically in that case. I see her first, indeed. Oh gosh, I searched the Blue Television Games. No, that's too wrong. So I interviewed Darby from Blue Television Games. He's a very awesome dude. I suggest you all totally check them out. I'm just announcing it at the moment, like, hey, uh, well, let's let's uh, watch the interview together, all right? Because that's awesome, right? Um, y'all came too quick. Y'all are coming way too fast, way too many times. Oh, bloody hell! Y'all are too quick for my own good. Why are you all so quick? Please. Oh gosh. I need to make some sort of professional setup for this, you know, in the future. I need to start planning in the future. Last live stream you have 11 lives. That's awesome, honestly. Oh gosh, I almost lost the um, phone. There's so many servers I have to promote on. Why? So many, so many servers on Discord. Why? Anyways, we're gonna... Are you guys ready to watch the, him? Basically, I'll be in the chat and uh, watch with you guys because, well, I'm gonna eat while we're gonna watch. Yo, uh, Storm Surge, are you ready to watch the interview with Darby and Layer? Which is totally awesome, honestly. So, I'm good friends with Darby and Layer. <laughs> that made. <laughs> God. I'd make a Lovania. Uh, actually, we do have music in the background. Are you guys ready? Three, two, actually I have to first move my mic. I'll see you guys in the stream. Wait, Delgado was playing some music. That's bad. Uh, here, there. Okay, see you guys later. Goodbye. It's failure time, it's failure time. No, it's time to watch you fail again. Failure time, it's failure time. Don't you wanna join that game of fail? Failure game. Failure time, it's failure time. Don't you wanna join that game of fail? Oh, it's okay. Our interviewer left, and we just asked each other questions. <laughs> yeah, we just kept going. <laughs> I might as well just fucking freaking keep that in. <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah, for sure. So, I might have forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> oh, no. Gee. <laughs> this, this isn't a failure video without failing. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. Hello everybody, welcome to me interviewing Darby and Lair, it's very awesome to have these people and I'm very thankful for them joining and well let's get right into the video shall we? Of course. Okay. Okay. So Darby, what is your favorite part about being in a band do you think? Uh, probably writing songs, I really like, uh, I like coming up with an idea. A lot of times I do it early in the morning and I'll videotape it and I'll send it to like my guitar player or my, my the other singer in the band. They both sing, but whatever. But anyways, I'll send them like this idea. And a lot of times I don't sing a lot of the songs, but I'll be like humming or just singing like blah, 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 blah. You know, like no words, but a melody. And I'm like, I like this idea. And then usually pretty quickly, they'll either be like, yeah, let's work on that tonight. Or they'll just send me like, cool. And then I'll know that it's not good, but a lot of times it turns into an idea and then once you get together and see everyone add to it and it becomes a full band song it's always a super cool feeling so i think writing songs is probably my favorite part and yeah so let's just move on to this next question which i think may be a bit important or rather like maybe it will have actually a new response to it instead of us just talking about basically the same thing <laughs> So, what made you go for gaming on YouTube? Wait, that was Tekno to bring up the same thing, but that doesn't mind now. <laughs> well, for me, uh, I had a channel before where I just would take... Uh, actually, I don't really want to talk about that because some people might try to find it. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, for me, it was just a hobby. I thought it would be fun to play video games, and maybe a few people would watch them, for the most part. Gotcha. Yeah. What about you, Larry? Same, same thing here, really. Um, it, I, I guess the only reason that I ended up starting in the first place was because I wanted to play Mario Maker and find people to play with. So, really, I wouldn't have done the YouTube thing otherwise, because <laughs> the only same. reason I wanted to do it was for Mario Maker. Yeah. I really wanted to get in on that playing Mario Maker, getting games early. Like back yeah. then, somehow I thought maybe that could be a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah I got on that bandwagon pretty quick. I, I love the idea of that. Yeah. So what is your biggest goal in life, would you say? Man, this is another deep question. It's very big. My, my goal in life, uh, I'm married to a woman named Morgan, and... Uh, my biggest goal is just to have it to where we are both comfortable, we have money put away so that we're secure, we can retire at a younger age, hopefully, uh, and just, you know, I'm not afraid to work hard my whole life, but I just want us to be set and comfortable and not have to worry all the time uh, about paying bills or stuff like that. So my ultimate goal is just to take care of her, and she take care of me, and we just live happy ever after. That's my main goal. Yeah, I, yeah, I think... I think... Probably sounds pretty cliche, but when you're younger, um, I know when I was, you know, a kid or a teenager, I had, like, a big ultimate goal for my life, and it was, like, this big grandiose thing. But I think when you're an adult, uh, or maybe just when you've gotten to a point in your life where you have somebody that kind of completes the whole picture like our wives do um instead of having like a big grandiose idea happy uh so it, it just changes a little bit you know and I, I think that's what darby's saying and that's definitely what i think yeah, I'm... so um this answer actually brings me up to the next uh, question which is how long have you known their wife for uh, I've known Sydney since I was five years old, so I've known her for 23 years almost. So, uh, she, we went to school together when I was like five years old, and, um, we saw each other every single day until we were 18, and then a couple of years after high school we got married, so we've known each other basically our whole lives. <laughs> Yeah, for uh, me, uh, about nine years ago, I was in a band, and we played at this event called Elvisathon, where all local bands would play Elvis songs. Um, and for whatever reason, Morgan happened to be there with her mom's best friend because she knew that Morgan liked music and stuff. And she saw me play music, and uh, at the end of the show, she wanted to meet me. So for whatever reason. So I was like, wow, this pretty girl wanted to meet me. That's crazy. And then I was like, cool. And then I went home and didn't think much about it. And then she messaged me on Facebook and was like, I got photos of your band. And we just started talking. And then uh, before you knew it, we were like, in, we were just pretty much together all the time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then a few years later, we got married. So we've been That's together amazing. about nine years, married uh, just six years yesterday. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. It's crazy how that stuff works out. You know, you just never, in your mind, you could never have planned everything to resolve the way that it ends up happening. Exactly. And it's just crazy. You know, a lot of people, especially when you're younger, I mean, even myself, like, I remember worrying about it, kind of, like, thinking, how am I going to make it all work, you know? <laughs> what am I going to do? And, um... Uh, it's just not worth worrying about because it's weird, but it just kind of works out. It's kind of amazing you guys met so young and still together all this time. Like, not very many people meet the right person that young. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really pretty cool. weird. <laughs> but I've seen them anything. together, so it, it makes so much sense. They're like the perfect <laughs> two people to be together. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't get it, but... He's muted. You probably don't even know he's muted. No, he said uh, be right back. Oh. Like a few minutes ago. Cool. What's your favorite thing about failure? 
layer. My favorite thing about Failer? Yeah. Um, he... I don't think that I've ever seen Failer put anybody down. And I, I think that that is the best strength that anyone can have because there's nothing, no good ever comes from putting people down. Yeah, I would agree. He's just, he, it, Failure Gamer is not the best name for him because he's just too positive of a person to be a failure or even a failure. Exactly. Either one. It Either would one. Be, it would be a real failure if he were mean and put people down all the time. Agreed. So, what's your favorite That's a cereal? Question. Uh, honey brunches, of those. Hold on, I'm gonna fix something because you see, um, I kind of destroyed it because I didn't record a video. I'm gonna just put an image because I can't get it to work. Uh, uh, I kind of have to make it work. So, so yeah. Uh, let, let me just try to fix this, guys. Okay. Give me a minute. Um, I'm failing already like this. This is what I talked about during the interview. I'm a failure. It's that simple. I can actually do the prank. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just record the monitor instead. I, 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 I think it's going to work now. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so basically... Okay, I haven't lost anything. How many minutes has it been? Morgan happened to be there with her. Cool. What's your favorite there we go. thing about Failure? Enjoy. Later. Oh gosh, hold on. I actually need to move my mic. Um, hold my favorite thing about Failure? Yeah. Um, he... I don't think that I've ever seen Failure put anybody down. And I, I think that that is the best strength that anyone can have because there's nothing, no good ever comes from putting people down. Yeah, I would agree. He's just, he, it, Failure Gamer is not the best name for him because he's just too positive of a person to be a failure or even a failure. Exactly. Either one. It Either would one. Be, it would be a real failure if he were mean and put people down all the time. Agreed. So, what's your favorite That's a cereal? Question. Uh, honey brunches, of those. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> it's not. I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to like it because it looks like it would be delicious. I'm, I'm going to Google it. Hold on. Let me see if it's still a thing. Honey brunches. Was it bacon? Uh, it was maple bacon, I think. Oh, it sounded so potent so potential but it, it was good it, i would say without milk it was a little better than if you put it in a bowl yeah i agree with that yeah but so it was a little uh, too nutty <laughs> chicken and waffles maple bacon donuts is what we had. that's what it was it was okay. it was I mean, too odie it was pretty odie mm. yeah uh what's uh what's your favorite uh brand of sneaker Converse, All Stars, Chuck Taylors. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Like, what about you? Um, it won't be awkward anymore. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, I have to go so uh, so uh, suddenly. Oh, that's okay. Our interviewer left, and we just asked each other questions. <laughs> yeah, we just kept going. <laughs> I might as well just freaking keep that in. <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just tell me if you all just asked each other one of these questions, then. <laughs> then we're gonna move <laughs> yeah, on to the next. I had to, like, fix a phone problem, that's why. When you're uh, the only technician inside of your house, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, what is your favorite type of food, would you say? Uh, well, that's kind of close to something we asked. <laughs> uh, my favorite kind of food is sushi. I love sushi, or... Perhaps maybe shellfish like crabs and lobster. Those are probably my favorites. I don't think your moderator yeah. shellfish will be proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, uh, if I don't know if eating steak every day wasn't an option, then probably like pasta. I love pasta. I could eat pasta every day for the rest of my life, which would what be if, very short. If what if I eating steak pasta. was an option? 
then yeah, probably steak. Steak and pasta. Mm. Let me say that. My favorite my oh. ideal dish would be like here's here's a ribeye and also here's some chicken fettuccine or something. That's cool. Or Most sauce. people are steak and potatoes, you know, but steak and pasta. Yeah. That's pretty I'm not cool. saying I eat steak and pasta together all the time. I'm just saying, like, if I had my way, man, I could I could polish off some steak and some pasta. With that said, if this was actually a true option, someone offered this to us, but then mm-hmm. said, okay, but the only thing we have is pizza, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, for sure. All right. <laughs> like, I just have pizza yeah. right next to me as we're speaking. I had it uh-huh. yesterday. Pizza is the best. Indeed. <laughs> But which also brings me to another question. It would be, what is your favorite topping of pizza, and what do you think of pineapple on pizza? Since you know, there's debate there. Uh, pineapple is actually one of my favorite toppings for pizza, and uh, I love it. <laughs> Obviously, if I like it as a topping, but yeah, I like sweet and salty stuff. I think it's perfect. Gotcha. Yeah, Darby's not wrong about many things, but. I'm uh, no, I I have had pineapple on pizza and I didn't mind it. I, I thought it was okay, but I think I would really like it if I could just have some pizza and then I could have like some cold pineapple and I could eat that with the pizza because I don't like the pineapple being hot. But I think if it was cold, maybe I would like it. But my ideal pizza is like sausage and black olives. Whoa, and maybe hate- cold pineapple. I hate sausage and I hate black olives. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, but uh, we're now no more videos. Bombs. No more videos. <laughs> no more videos. Lair. This is it. Good job, failure. Good, good job, <laughs> failure. You failed it. I I always fail. Okay, I always fail at <laughs> even really, failing. You really failed it, dude. Like like if I win ever, <laughs> I just say, oh, I failed at failing. Okay. Yeah, perfect. that's perfect. Yeah, it's the best excuse good. ever. <laughs> All right, so do you all have a favorite ROM hack or a fan game? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lair, Lair I, goes first. I don't, I don't know what Darby's gonna say, but I think for me, it's probably gotta be like I have not played a ton of ROM hacks, okay? But the most fun I've ever had with one was Player Two controls the enemies. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. Because I, I think that was just. It's it's more than just that ROM hack. Like it was Darby and I getting together and playing, and it was the first time that we had like settled into a groove where like we're gonna get together and we're gonna make stuff together, and we're gonna make videos and we're gonna do it once a week and we're gonna, you know. So it was. Um, I have really good memories of that. That was so much fun. I thought that some of the jokes in there were so funny, <laughs> and uh, I still go back and watch that video all the time. We actually stuck to that too. We've only missed a video like once or twice, I think. We've at least did a video on on my channel every week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we really have stuck to it for like a couple of years now, almost. Yeah, that's up there for me too. That that and I I've really been enjoying the diagonal Mario, but it's mm-hmm. kind of the same thing. It's just yeah. I don't. It wouldn't be as good if it was just me or if Lair did it by himself on his channel. I don't think it's just mm-hmm. something about it wouldn't us. be as memorable playing it together being able to laugh at it together it makes it a lot more funny just wait yeah. for like the randomizer or like chaos um mario portal Ooh. co-op version <laughs> that yeah. game Look, that'll hey, be chaos chaotic mario, for sure chaos mario is at the bottom of the favorite rom hacks list i think it's great and i love it but man it's hard to record that game it's good too many yourself. deaths too many fails if one player yeah. dies, they both die, and it just ah. makes it it makes it rough. Usually, like recording episode of that takes an hour, yeah, yeah it's or more. Lots of editing. Yeah, it's it's rough, but it's the final product's pretty fun. It's yeah, it's oh, yeah. We always had fun while we were playing it, but sometimes it would just be like, okay, come on, can we just please get through this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite type of Nintendo game? Mario games, maybe? Yeah, if you mean like series, I would have to go with Mario, even though there's a lot of great series on Nintendo. Uh, if you mean type of game, yeah, I mean, probably platformers are probably my favorite. What about yeah, you, though? I think, I think my... I almost called Layer Darby. <laughs> That's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> I suppose it is. 
They both have letters of the alphabet in them. It is. That's true. This is, um, this is yeah. why we always mix you two together. People doing comments all the time. They'll be like, it was so funny when Darby said this. And I'll be like, well, that was layer, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We don't even sound alike, but people get us confused. People just don't know the names yet, I guess. Yeah. It's going to take a few more years. Yeah. Or, or I mean, you, you all could do like a challenge where Layer takes over BTG sound for a day. <laughs> <laughs> that he would has be chaotic. Done videos before, and people will be like, "You sound different." <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, I just respond like, "Oh, sorry, I have a cold." <laughs> <laughs> that'd be freak. That'd be like perfect. Right. Oh. All right. So, do you all have a favorite holiday, and why would you say it's your favorite? Hmm. I always Holiday. think. I well, think Darby's Christmas. is Labor Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he particularly yeah. loves wearing white after it. Layers is President's Day. I. Mm -hmm. My God, I am so patriotic. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the Secret yeah. Santa is my favorite all day. <laughs> Mine's probably Halloween actually, because I really like scary stuff. I like. Uh, like horror movies and all that stuff. So that's the holiday I get the most excited for. And then probably co uh, Christmas, not whatever word I was going to say. Because <laughs> uh, Christmas, you get to buy stuff for other people. That's always fun. I, I love Christmas. I am all about Christmas. I want to put my tree up early. I want to celebrate. I want to listen to Christmas music. Sydney, my wife, is still getting mad at me every single day for singing Christmas music. Here in <laughs> I so, sing it all year long, too. Dude, I'm I'm all about it. I get those songs stuck in my head. Layer hates Halloween. You heard it here. <laughs> I, no, I, I love the build up to Halloween. I love like all the scary movies and I always get in like the scary game mode and I just wanna I love Halloween, but I don't like celebrating Halloween that much. I just like the you know, watching all the Friday the thirteenth movies and playing Resident Evil games and all that. Hey, gives you excuse for all that stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, the exactly. truth. All right, so what type of songs do you like the most, would you say? What type of songs? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. My tastes have changed a lot. When I was younger, um, like, I guess when I was a kid, it was a lot of classic rock, because that's what my dad listened to. So I love Thin Lizzy. It's one of my favorite bands. Um, as an adult... Or I guess as a teenager, I listened to metal a lot, and I was just kind of going through that kind of hard rock metal phase where that's all I wanted to listen to. But now as an adult, I don't like to listen to that as much because it just kind of stresses me out. So I want to listen to slow, like I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to name any names, but um, my taste have mellowed out a lot, I guess. Sometimes yeah. I listen to country now. Sometimes I listen to classic rock, metal. I just don't do like one thing anymore like I did. Yeah, I like I would that. agree with that part. Like before I used to like only go for like one part of the music or like one type. And that was one thing I stuck to normally was like rock from a certain channel right. I was watching. But th th yeah. then, then I also went to rock and derbies. And well, um, let's just say my change of music became like more slower at the same time it became like a part of rock as well Does that makes yeah. sense um for me i always like songs that are darker sounding or like minor keys or mm. depressing uh i always like that darker toned music more yeah uh, no matter what kind of music i like a variety as well i like a lot of like punk that, stuff like that song from uh, hong kong 97 yeah, it's really, <laughs> yeah. it's really, really dark. I love that song. It's, it's just, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, are you ready to let the 10 hour one of them? No. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding, by the way. I won't let you suffer here. <laughs> Y'all are my guests. You won't suffer tonight. <laughs> you just wait for tomorrow. I'm just kidding. Of course. <laughs> so, okay. So, let's just get on. So, is there any special moments in your life as a teen, perhaps, that you can remember very well? As a teen? Yeah. A teen. Sorry, I didn't... Wait, what? Darby is typing. Like a teen. 
Well, but but I suppose sick. team <laughs> also works, so I'm gonna ask both. Okay, both. Okay, both. A yeah. team or a team. Okay. Okay, Darby, so you go first. What was your favorite? What Do you have any special memories from when you were a teenager? When I was a teenager, I was in a band called Staten's Bridge, and so I was later? <laughs> I was a senior in high school. I was 17, and we got to play at this thing called Fall Jam 5 in Texas, and uh, we got to open up for a bunch of popular bands at the time, and some of the bands were like Smash Mouth and Buck Cherry and Lenny Kravitz. It was like all the popular train, I think, played it because afterwards we went to a guy's mansion and watched train play acoustic in the guy's living room yeah so that was probably like the craziest coolest thing i got to do when i was a teenager but as a team uh man that's tough because i've done a lot of cool things in a group of people i guess you could count that same memory because there was two other guys in the band and that was kind of like a team so boom answered questioned indeed he did now it's time for Lair in the case he fails. Well, then we'll, <laughs> we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> uh, let me let me think here for a second. Favorite memory as a teenager. Um, I think I was a teenager still uh, when I, I think I was like 19 years old. So it was right at the end of that. But I got tickets to this um there was this band, this guy that I really liked named Mark Tremonti started his own band called Tremonti and they were doing an opening show in Orlando, Florida. And I flew from Texas to Florida for one day to go to the show. And, uh, I mean, I got to stand basically on the stage in this little club for the show. I got to play some of his guitars while I was there. I got to meet his guitar tech. I got to shake his hand, talk to him. Uh, it was it was a really, really cool night. So I remember that. I think that was one of my favorite. And I don't... Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it really I don't does really sound awesome. love, like, the... You know, I, I don't, like, idolize people and, like, think, whoa, this is so cool meeting this person. But I just thought it was really neat that I got to be part of that whole thing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, now, as far as team thing, um, I don't know. I mean, I think... I guess there's a lot of cliche answers. Like, I played a lot of sports in high school. But, I mean... I think I think Darby and I are the dream team. I think everything that we do is hilarious. So I I'm our biggest fan, I think. And I always like watch the videos and stuff and I think, man, this is so good. But yeah, do you I'm hope this is like hilarious, Tom? <laughs> I'm like our second biggest fan. I don't like us as much as Lair, but I yeah. definitely think I think we're pretty cool. Darby just sometimes he'll be like, hey, this was okay, but you guys need to polish it up a little bit. Or like that joke about the Knuckles meme Elmo was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm on board 100% all the time. Full steam ahead, Darby and Lair. Uh, yes, he never says edit that out, which is awesome. Uh, exactly, yeah. Exactly. Why, why would you even tell people to edit it out? I mean, come on. It's funny. <laughs> well, Failing is the new meta, point. okay? Exactly. At a certain point, that became the joke. Originally, it was like, edit that out. There's no way we can leave that in. But then it became, oh, people like it when we leave in the thing. Yeah, leave in the mistakes. Exactly. <laughs> so <we> just... <laughs> you can already tell I'm leaving in some of this. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, all right. So let's just get on to the other one, which will also be a bit for Darby this time. What okay. is the reason you started playing in a band? Um, man, I was pretty young the first time I started playing a band. I think it was just playing music. It's like anything you do. Well, not anything, but most things you do, it's always more fun to get more pe people involved. Like, you know, playing a video game is fun, but if you can play with one of your buddies, it's such a better experience. Well, with music, what I've learned throughout the years is when you play with anyone, no matter how good or bad they are, it's like you always kind of learn something. Uh, even beginners will do these weird things. Sometimes you'll think, oh, I never would have thought of approaching it like that. So uh, I think mostly it was just wanting to experience music with other people. 
Yeah, I can understand. I'm totally fine because as soon as you start like being with other people, like you can see a lot of new wisdom to learn. You can see a lot of funny moments, like when you fail, as always. <laughs> don't player Welcome. actually plays instruments too. I don't know if you knew that. Oh no, I didn't. Might if I ask yeah, you what kind of instrument you play them? Sure. Yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't say that I've mastered anything. I'm best at playing the guitar, probably, but I've also played the saxophone a little bit i've played the drums piano banjo played a lot of banjo um so i mean I, i've played a lot of instruments i will again wouldn't say that i'm a master but i'm pretty good at guitar all right so let me just ask this uh, 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 well this is my personal question well, when will you two do a co-op uh, music video <laughs> co-op music video i would love to do that that'd be cool i don't know if i can keep up with darby he's pretty good if you say so. We could do a video game song. Yeah. Oh, yes. That'd be cool. That'd be maybe someday. Cool. If the people want it enough, then yeah, maybe. Definitely. Like cool. a Super Mario Bros. 3? Like a music one? Ooh. That'd be cool. That'd exactly. be doable, I think. That song's pretty slow. and Because some of those Mario songs are hard to play. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I'd be down for that. A Super Mario Bros. 3. Like, yeah, it's kind of slow on a lot of the music there, so I think it would go very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So... Let's get to what is the worst game you ever played and why? <laughs> I think Larry answered this in an interview recently, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I can go oh. about this. Castle. Castellian. 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 Yeah, it's a... dumb. What's <laughs> funny is I had that on Game Boy, and I enjoyed it. I always thought it was really fun. Well, maybe it's better. Maybe the Game Boy. Maybe, maybe I don't know. It just it reminds me of like a like a troll level, uh, which I <laughs> it hate. Is hard. You know, yeah. well, I mean, it's just learning the pattern. And I know a lot of games from that era were learning a pattern, but it just it punishes you so hard, and the timer is so tight that you can't learn it while you're playing it. You have to fail over and over and over and over and over again to learn how to beat that first level. And I just, welcome to I this channel. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> sounds like a failure gamer kind of game. I like failure gamer a lot more than I like Castellian. It's All tough right. for me because I, I, I kind of like bad games, so I do sometimes. too. So, yeah. so Darby, what you're saying is the good games are bad ones. I like good games more than bad games, but I'll sometimes <laughs> games that are whoa, bad. Oh, that's controversial. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> games that are people think are bad even i just really enjoy like hotel mario i still think is a good game uh people say it's like the worst game ever is it good compared to mario 3 or mario world no it's not as good as those games but it doesn't mean it's bad i don't know yeah, well nobody nobody only plays the best games all the time you know yeah. nobody does that so it makes sense to like some of those games but i think also we darby and i talk about this all the time that there are so many voices out there that have a lot of people following them. Uh, people like Angry Video Game Nerd is the one we always talk about that puts certain games in a bad light. Yep. And people just yeah. reactively say, oh, that game is awful. But some of those games that people hate on are games that I love. So uh, I, I think that's kind of unfair for people who have never even played the games to just say, oh, that's awful. I saw a video about this once. Agreed. Yeah. Like and we, I, we both love Angry Video Game Nerd. Yeah. But it, a lot of it's an act, too. Like, I mean, he, he trashes Ninja Turtles on the NES, but <laughs> multiple right. times he said it's it's a great game. It's easy yeah. to pick apart because there's a lot of evil things about it, but it's, it's probably better than the other two Ninja Turtle games as far as depth and things you do in the game. Yeah. Uh, the other two games are kind of more mindless, but, yeah, you know, sure. he trashes it because it's entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like and one I would, thing for sure. I would say, I know that this wasn't the actual question, but something that Darby and I always make a, a pretty good point of doing is not trashing games. I think we're both pretty uh, optimistic and, you know, fair when we judge games. We don't just go into it and be like, ah, this is the worst game ever. Nobody play this. We're always pretty open-minded, I guess. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, for sure. The reason for that is because we are so annoyed when everybody just seems to hate stuff, but nobody's actually played the thing that they're hating on. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that one. 
Yeah. And like people have always different opinions, so there will always be some kind of argument about which is good, which is bad. So of course, like this question is very controversial, as you said. That's yeah, the truth. Right. But of course, we all have different opinions, and you're all allowed to have your own opinion. Of course. Exactly. Just yep. remember that everyone has a different opinion, and well, just accept it. It's that easy. Important. The important thing to remember is it's okay to not like a game because you don't like it or like a game because you like it, but don't just hate or like a game because someone else told you to. Agreed. Exactly. That's the thing. So, I know this one Darby has answered a ton of times, but since a lot of people are still wondering on it, I just thought this is well. Well, it would be cool to have it in, plus Layer hasn't answered this as much, I believe. So why... What is the reason for the nickname between Blue Television Games and Layer Gaming? Um, these are pretty easy. Blue Television Games was just, I wanted, uh, when I started the channel, I was going to do a lot of retro games originally because I didn't think people would, the Mario Maker stuff would do so well. So I wanted a retro TV as my logo. So I was like, television something, I need, I need a name. And uh, Television Games, I thought, sounded kind of neat, but it just sounded like it needed something favorite colors are blue and orange so i just said blue television games i thought it sounded better than orange television games yeah it rolls Ooh. off the tongue but it yeah, would have been just... a chance where orange television games would have existed <laughs> the funniest <laughs> thing to me is that uh a lot of younger viewers like the channel just as much as people my age and i'll get fan art of kids drawing retro tvs something that they've probably never even seen before <laughs> and i think yeah. that's yeah. so funny that I used something so outdated and still did pretty decently well. It just cracks me up sometimes when I you think about that. You should have called it Blue Betamax Games or like Blue VCR. <laughs> <laughs> Blue 8 Track Games. Perfect. Yeah, keep it alive. That's yeah. the spin the layer, channel. That's what is, coming. What is the reason for your channel name, if I may ask? Uh, well, Lair is my middle name. And... Uh, it's like a family name so all the men in my family for several generations going back have had the middle name lair um so i've always liked using that my dad actually he his name was harvey but his middle name was lair and he went by larry his whole life um so i, I just had an attachment to that and i've always liked my middle name a lot so i thought it would be a cool thing to do and when i first started my channel it was just my full first name and last name which was not very <laughs> private or <concrete. laughs> so uh i changed it to lair gaming because i thought that sounded kind of cool but that's yeah. that's pretty much it not very exciting gotcha well um now layer you remember when he asked me a question on twitter okay to ask darby <laughs> well uh, this is going to bite you in the butt because Name three non-Mari games you would suggest others to, others to check out. Oh yeah, I do remember that. So Darby, this is your question. Name me three Mario games that other people... Er, <laughs> <laughs> <That's so wrong. laughs> non-Mario games that other people should check out. Okay, I would say the game I played the most in the last almost year and a half, two years, <laughs> probably... Slay the Spire. Uh, it's so, so addictive and fun. It's a deck building game, which I usually don't care for, mixed with like a rogue light or rogue like. I never know the difference between the two. Uh, it's super fun. It's on PC and Switch. I highly recommend that. Uh, for, uh, let's see, man, it's games I think everyone should play. You should play Panic Restaurant on the NES way ahead of its time super fun super cheap to buy not true <laughs> considering the name it sounds really fun already no it's super cool like uh the the stages are presented like a menu and there's this killer food and you're a chef and you have to run around and basically take out this demonic food it's it's just hilarious it's got funny animations super cool I'm just pulling games off the top of my head here. That haunts me. Uh, sounds like one of the Papa Jones games, like a Flash game I played earlier <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> like you made pizza and then you had to like fight burgers and everything in like an adventurous world. 
Another game I played recently that I thought was really fantastic was The Tourist. It's on the Switch. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, The Forest. No, The Tourist. Oh, The like, Tourist. Yeah. yeah, it's spelled a little weird. It's spelled like with a Y. But uh, oh. it's just super fun. It's got light puzzles. I'm not much of a puzzle guy. I don't really care for puzzle games much. But it's puzzles that are solved easily by trial and error. It's more platforming type puzzles. And it's just kind of exploring these islands. Uh, and the graphics are really cool. I don't know. I definitely check out the tourist. That'd be my other one off the top of my head. Got I've got some. I just thought about them while Darby was talking. Do it. <laughs> three. Did you just Mario use an excuse to no think three, about them? Three non Mario. Uh, so Lost Odyssey on the Xbox 360. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's an RPG. It's got some great stories in it. Uh, everybody should go play Lost Odyssey. It's backwards compatible on the Xbox One. It'll probably be backwards compatible on the whatever new one it is. Uh, then Shadow of the Colossus on the PS2 or the remake on the PS4. And then probably Death Stranding. I think everybody should play that because that's one of those games that people look down on unfairly because most people haven't played it. They've just heard people complain about it. And I'm telling you, that's one of my favorite games of all time. So I think people should, should just try it and see if they like it. I have actually heard a lot of good things about Death Stranding. And I know you're a big fan of it based on uh, well, what I have seen on your server. Yeah, such a big fan. I've played it uh, over 100 hours, and that doesn't happen for many games for me. Well, we're glad you aren't me, because I have like 1,000 hours in something called Team Fortress 2. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel so bad for myself after watching like how many hours I have and then like, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so why do you like Mario so much? Like what did, what led you all to enjoy Mario as, in the, as a franchise? I think it's just the same reason everyone likes it, whether they think about it or not. It's just really simple controls, uh, really good level design. You basically just start playing the game without knowing how to play it and within a couple of minutes even if you're bad at it you just you get it i mean even the newer mario games are like that still even though they're really complex compared to the old ones it's just really good level design to where if, if a problem comes up it teaches you what you need to learn to do in order to keep going and you know you basically just go right until you see a flag yeah Pretty i basic. can totally understand that one <laughs> that's yeah, my opinion Yeah, so later, what about you? I think pretty much the same thing that Darby was saying. You know, it's just so accessible. And if you were going to show somebody a game and try to introduce them to the whole idea of gaming, it, I mean, there's almost no better place to start than Mario. Because like he was saying, it's just running and jumping. Yeah. All right, so what do you think is the future of your channel? The what? What would you say do you think is the future of your channel? Oh, gotcha. Uh, for me, I just plan to do the same thing I've always done, is uh, focus on stuff that people seem to like, and occasionally sneak in stuff I want to do and hope that maybe it does well, which it usually does. I do like hope have a it... little variety like that. Uh, yeah. I do hope it goes but... well for you soon, honestly, because a lot of the videos that you post that is not Mario Maker, I have actually watched some, and I think they're very fun to watch. Well, thank you. I wish more people would check out the other <laughs> stuff, but people like what they like. You know, you don't you don't watch certain channels on TV hoping to see a show you don't want to see. You know, you you want to tune in for the things you expect. I get that. But Are you joking? Hope... I'm watching re I'm watching football for the wrestling stuff. Okay. <laughs> I guess the hope is is that one day, especially like our Saturday videos we do together, it'd be great to just be able to play whatever we want and the same amount of people tune in, you know, because they, yeah. they, they're tuning in more for me and Lair than just to see Mario do something different. That would be great. Um, but I get yeah. people love Mario and they like when we play Mario. So that's why I do a lot of Mario stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. And even to kind of boil it down more from there, um there's also the whole youtube algorithm and this like oh, magic yeah. oh yeah thing you know and it really rewards sticking with one thing and it really rewards something that everyone is searching for and mario is just always popular and there's oh, always people true. you know 
people out there searching up Mario to see what's new. And uh, so it's tempting, I think, for Darby and I to think like, well, it really kind of works against us because we can't get anyone to watch the other stuff. But really, it's just it's working for us when we do Mario, but it's not working for us at all when we do something else. And that's why it feels that way. <laughs> when I get comments that are like, uh, I didn't get a notification or YouTube didn't notify me. I'd say 10 out of 10 times it's a non Mario video. So it's like mm-hmm. YouTube literally is just like, no one's going to watch this. I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to push this one, you know, and they're probably right. somewhat right. More people would probably watch it if they did you know, notify and stuff, but they know the numbers aren't going to be as good. So they're just, they don't even waste their time. Yeah. Yep. I can understand what well. YouTube so, likes to make money. I'm actually going to ask another question. since it's kind of related. Have you ever been interested in recording games like Subnautica where it's more open worldish and where, well, it's quite different from Mario games, basically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Darby and I, uh, I mean, we've played a lot of games that we didn't record for True. that kind of reason. You know, we played through the forest uh, almost all the way, and we played through a game called Origami that we loved, and we didn't record oh, yeah. that. Origami have I heard of, and I think the art style looks beautiful in it. That's a cool game. It's such a good game. I would have loved for people to, you know, get to see that. I would have loved to share that with people. But again, it's... It's hard to share stuff like that when you have a niche and you know that YouTube isn't going to push those videos the same way. Yeah, and yeah, it totally makes sure. sense. Not yeah. talking bad about YouTube. I mean, I get not at all from their perspective. Uh, they can't watch every video and determine stuff. So what's easy is to just push what works. I yeah. got you. So, do you have any person you look up to? And if you could pick one person you could collab with, what would it be? Mm. I mean, honestly, the only person I really like collabing with is Lair, just because I know he's never going to do anything that's going to change my opinion of him. Uh, I just know who he is. Like, he's not going to say something that's going to let me down, or uh, I don't know how to put it. Just you, you have to really trust someone to invite him to be on your channel. And, yeah. uh, you know, I would, I would much rather if I was going to collab with someone new, do it on their channel and see how it goes first. I yeah, just get I'm nervous. Totally there. And later, uh, this is where you're about to sing. Never going to give you up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really feel comfortable with layer. And it's when you try to make a video with someone you never have before, it's, it sounds good on paper. Like, Oh, I'd love to do a collab with you, but then you don't know how to like bounce jokes off of each other. And you don't, it's just different. It's tough exactly yeah this is this is actually something that i've talked at darby about before is saying you know i you know you should try to find some other people you know find some big people just from a like i don't want to demystify everything but from a business perspective you know because darby does youtube full-time now like uh, i've said before you know if you can find somebody that you can make a mutually beneficial agreement with and work together uh give it a shot so I, I hope that Darby does that. I hope that there are some people. I would love to hear if there's anybody watching this who you think would mesh well with Darby. And usually a lot of the personalities that people throw out there are not people that Darby would work well with, you know, because they don't know him, like his personality so much. They just watch his videos. And um, like I've seen before, you know, collab with Dashy. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like these these two people don't go together. You know? Yeah, that that one I can understand well. No reason why to go do together. That. I mean, right. I would gladly do it <laughs> because well, yeah, <laughs> it would yeah. be amazing to collab with Dashy. But yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, it just wouldn't be the same kind of uh, I guess organic thing, you know. So yeah, um, it would be hard to, for anyone to collab with Dashy just because his personality is so huge. He's a big personality. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I think their ears will just... be destroyed, honestly. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, how would you get a word in? Like, he just, <laughs> he's kind of like right. the show. I mean, you can't, it's like standing next to a giant. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what is your favorite type of Sonic game, would you say? 2D for me. I just like the 2D games. 
Favorite kind of Sonic game. Um, I mean, my favorite of the Sonic games are Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Uh, and then my favorite 2D Sonic game is probably Mania, because I think it was just, like, perfect. Mania is really good. Uh, Mania I, I have a lot of nostalgia. I have a lot of nostalgia for the old ones, specifically Sonic 3 and Knuckles for me. Yeah, that's, um, but I, I think that's one reason Mania. Sonic Mania was well-received. It was because it brought a lot of nostalgia back to people. Yeah. Like, the artwork yeah, was, was basically the same as it used to be in, like, Sonic 1, Sonic 2 and such. And, well, the way Knuckles was implemented was very well. Like, he had his own story kind of type, of type though. Like, it just felt more like an original, older game than it felt like a newer, brand new game. Yeah. Right. And, well, yeah, love- a lot of people loved the old Sonic games. Like, they were... A lot of fun to play through because they went so fast. Like you just ran. That's basically it. <laughs> so, what type of non Nintendo consoles do you own? Own? Ooh. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I think it'd be easier. It'd be easier to say what systems I don't have. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um. I, I kind of have... feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have uh, Turbo Graphics, any of the Turbo Graphics PC Engine systems, and I don't own anything. I have the Turbo Graphics earlier than that's, I'm jealous of that. I don't own anything earlier than the NES. I don't believe, uh, but every system after the NES, I pretty much have. I think uh, other than handheld systems, I got about every. Same here. I don't have a Sega CD. Um, I do. I do. Well, I'm jealous of that. I'll trade you for my Turbo Graphics. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I would. I would do <laughs> that, but I wouldn't be able to afford any of the games. Well, <laughs> neither can I. That's why I just have a Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I, yeah. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty much in the same boat as Darby. I do have a few of the older systems. I've got a 2600. Uh, I've got a ColecoVision. Um. You have a CDI? Don't have a CDI. I have I a 3DO. Have CDI. That's true. Yeah, Darby got me in on the 3DO train. I ordered one after playing his. Oh, um, that's 3DO. that's quite nice, actually. 3DO yeah. is an underappreciated system. That's the truth. Yeah. But, but uh, the only on sad part day. about it for me was that I got Super Mario Maker 2 and I was like, yay, I want to make levels. And then I got a, like, a notification like whenever I tried uploading a level. Hey, you can't. And then I researched it on the internet and I found out, hey, on the 3DS, you can't upload levels. 3DS, that's different than the system I'm saying. I'm saying the 3DO. Oh, the 3DO. Yeah, it came out. It was one of the first disc-based systems. Ah. Well, that out. makes a lot of more sense I'm, now. I'm doing the research here. The 3DO came out in 1990. Nope, that was 1993. It's kind of near like the 64, and uh, yeah, it was like the during the same time period as like the 64 and all those systems, right? Yeah. Ah. It's a cool system. I had, I mean, admittedly, never heard of it before Darby and I started talking, and I got to play his the first time I went up to his house, and um. I thought it was really cool. I mean, I th- I think it's just amazing how many games are out there and systems are out there that I've never even heard of, let alone played. Exactly. And, uh, I think that's that's one of the coolest parts about collecting stuff and like me and Darby bouncing off of each other. Like, oh, have you heard of this? No, have you heard of this? Yeah, yeah sure. there's just so many games. Is there any yeah. favorite part of the consoles you guys enjoy them? Hmm favorite part of collecting them yeah or Ooh. i mean it's more about collecting the games but yeah. you want to have you want to have the console in case you ever decide to actually play the games you play <laughs> yeah um, for sure yeah. as the for cons- which consoles are best to collect for uh we probably have some insight there i mean i, I think like nes is really easy to get cheap yeah. great games for the ps2 is another one that's really easy to get cheap great games on i would say sega genesis even you can get yeah. if you're not worried about boxes especially uh their games are still pretty cheap super nintendo i feel like kind of expensive like even for i do yeah. too i always 
I always tell people this, that with the Super Nintendo, you have to spend more to get the same quality of game that you would get on the NES or another system. So for the Super Nintendo to get like a $5 quality game on the NES, you would have to pay $15 on the Super Nintendo to yep. get that same level of quality. And now, uh, if you like stuff. rare, rare games, uh, I think in that situation, NES probably has more expensive games than Super Nintendo when you get yeah. to the really rare and valuable ones. Um mm -hmm. But on the other end, it's definitely a lot easier to collect for NES. Yeah, yes. I would imagine so, considering it is one of the oldest consoles. Yeah, it's it's like the to me the first console that has games worth actually collecting. Yeah, I think that was it, actually the situation for a lot of people because, well, I see a lot of people loving like the NES and talking a lot about it instead of like let's say S. Super Nintendo, like a lot of more people are more about like the NES and like how fun it was playing so? on it. I think more people like Super Nintendo from my experience. Um, yeah, but I would agree with you. NES is better. Not very many people would. Uh, <laughs> but if you look back at like the Atari, for instance, the games are still mostly cheap and no one really wants them. Uh, now, I'll feel bad for the people that are older than me that that's nostalgic for and they love it. Uh, but it's just true. It's just it's easier to get games for the Atari than the NES, even though it's an older system. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine people that. just people just they didn't age well. The games did <laughs> compared to the NES. I yeah, mean, if they exactly. For the NES, then yeah, those would be great. But the jump in quality is so significant. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, exactly. All right, so what do you use for streaming, recording, and editing? And would you rec recommend it? I would say no for me because it would be a ridiculous setup, but I use a PC, an OBS, and an Elgato HD60S to record and to stream. Uh, and then I edit on a MacBook Pro because I've just used iMovie for so long. I'm just super fast at it. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would say just get a PC because they're a lot cheaper and learn an editing program on the PC. Uh, but it works for me, but I have this stuff already. Yeah. Yeah. All of my recording and streaming stuff is the same as Darby's, but I edit in Windows with uh, Sony Vegas uh, 14, I think. And I, I like it quite a bit. I mean, it's kind of resource intensive, so you need kind of a strong computer to run it. But I, I like that software okay. Yeah. I have heard a lot of good things when it comes to Sony Vegas that a lot of people are actually liking, especially that program. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think That's actually one of the reasons I got a bit surprised when I hear Darby liked iMovie or something, because I've never heard a lot of people saying like they enjoyed that one, but I have heard some people have. Thing with iMovie is uh like previewing video, there's never waiting for it to render and it if you hit the space bar, like I've had a lot of editing programs on Windows where you have to wait a second, like nothing's instant. And yeah. you know, if you have a nice computer, that helps. But on the Mac it's just everything's instant. Uh rendering a video takes minutes instead of hours, you know, stuff like that. But I mean if you had a really nice PC, it'd probably be similar. But for me, the Mac Back in the day, it was just so much faster than the PCs for all that stuff. And now I'm just used to it, where PCs are pretty much caught up and Macs are overpriced now. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend a Mac to anyone, even though I love the operating system. Gotcha. They're too expensive, and you have to buy too many add-ons to do things. Yeah, that one I get. But what was your first <laughs> ever handheld console and the first game you played on it? Game Boy, Super Mario Land. Uh, man, probably the same for me. Oh, I might have played Tetris. Well, no, I'm pretty sure I popped in Mario Land first, but I think I had Tetris as well. I yeah, I definitely played a lot of Tetris on ours because I think I think my the Game Boy that I ended up having was actually my mom's, and I think she played Tetris and she had Super Mario Land and all those because she, my dad and mom both played games too, and gotcha. um. Yeah, so probably the same for me, though, like Tetris or Super Mario Land 1. Yeah, and considering all the hype for, uh, like, Tetris 99 now, 
I've actually like watched a lot of hype around it, and I think personally that it's quite beautiful to see because it just brings up so much nostalgia, like looking at so many people enjoying a game that's actually so old but kind of like a newish version, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the thing with Tetris is so many. Well, they called that a puzzle game, but I, th I think it needs a different name. So when I think of a puzzle game, I think of sitting in a room and trying to figure out something to get to the next level. Yeah, uh, I that's agree with what that. They called puzzle games back then, and I think that's the game yeah. all the puzzle games wanted to be in. Yeah, like Tetris Dr. Mario. Is like the Mario is, of... Yeah, it's just yeah. you can't beat Tetris. Um, a lot of games have tried. It's just yeah. it's so simple and so perfect. It's exactly. It's just, yeah, like, I don't know how else to put it. It's just so simple, yet it's so addicting as well, because, like, you keep wanting to get a higher score or beating other players, like uh, Tetris 99 shows, and, well, it's just very fun when you get to, like, reach a higher and higher and higher high score in the end. Yeah, if you add multiplayer to any awesome game, it just usually ends up even better. Yeah, that's yeah. why I love arcade function in itself. Like, it just makes a lot of fun when you have a high score system and you play it on an arcade. It just feels so much fresh and fun. Heck yeah. Exactly. Like, actually, let's just get onto the next question before I talk too much about arcade machines. <laughs> <laughs> let's not make this an arcade video. Not yet, at least. Alright, so what, are your fav what was your favorite candy when you were a kid? <laughs> candy indeed uh... there was these uh you ever see those bottles they're like wax bottles they're flat and they have like Nickel juice nips. in them yeah well they at my local store down the road i've walked there as a kid they had ones that were shaped like kind of like a pistol like a gun same oh. exact concept though so you could yeah. bite off the part of the gun and get all the juice out of it or whatever but they were like 50 <laughs> cents back then and uh, yeah, I would I would just take money from wherever I could find it in the cushions or from my piggy bank, and I'd go down and get those. No idea what it was called, but it was Sounds like something great though. <laughs> they awesome. wouldn't make that candy now, but yeah, and candy cigarettes yeah. I used to get all the time. So I get. Dang it! I the... was gonna say candy cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the candy they don't make anymore because now it'd be like candy, not cigarettes. I don't know what they would be called. Yeah. yeah. Candy, well, I mean, nicotine patches. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as fun. It's like a fruit roll up you lick and then stick on your arm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, my boring answer is probably like Reese's or something. But I, yeah, I mean, I wanted to like date myself and be like, oh, yeah, candy cigarettes. But candy cigarettes were great. I mean, they're still good. They're kind of chalky, but in a good way. Yeah, I mean, they're just candy sticks. That's what they were back then, too. But they came in like a a box that was like sick. don't kids don't smoke don't that's smoke. true Definitely don't smoke. it's bad for you and yeah. that's why they outlawed candy cigarettes because they were afraid the kids were going to be like oh this is cool which i mean I, you know <laughs> the ones i bought like even had like red tips so it looks like they were lit oh yeah, yeah. oh wow awesome yeah the kid, thought time. it was so cool there yeah. reminds me of like one candy ish like you know um the uh, crit or something like there's something you write on like a table or something with right? like there's one of those mm. but edible like candy mm. haven't heard of that yeah um, it's like yeah. Uh, the one that teachers normally use you know and mm. I was like um, I don't think it's that good of an idea like letting it be candy because suddenly a kid will actually go to school and just put it in his mouth and try to eat it <laughs> <laughs> like I can see that happening and that's not the best idea for candy just saying <laughs> agreed alright so here's another question what are your f top 5 favorite consoles hmm not in any order it will no. be a lot easier to give this answer I think yeah you go first okay not in any order NES Super Nintendo PS2 Switch and GameCube. 
probably not in any uh, order. It's tough, man. I know, I, would, I know. If I had to pick five, though, I would definitely say NES and Super Nintendo. Uh, I would have to go with definitely PlayStation One. You got to put the Switch in there. I know. You use it so much. You got to. Yeah. I do love the Switch. The Switch should go on there. Man, it's tough. Um, you got one more. Indeed. Um, you like Sega's Xbox 360 a lot. I was thinking about saying Xbox 360. Um, I'm going to say PS1, PS2. I'm going to give you both of them. Uh, NES, Super NES. And I'll say Switch. I'll say Switch. Um, Xbox is getting no love today. Indeed. Yeah, sorry, Microsoft. <laughs> but, I mean, it's tough, man. The 3D is one of my favorite systems. I just can't. If I could only live with five systems, you know, 3DO wouldn't make the cut. Yeah, so. I could understand that one. Uh, very obvious. I just like liking things that other people don't too. Like, like having a di- like having <laughs> a different addictive. answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I'd love to put 3DO on there, but I can be on. But if I say I like yeah. pizza, you can't like pizza anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing is, like, I feel bad saying PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, but if I had those two systems, I always put myself on a on an island, you know, this is the only five consoles, right. that's what I do my top fives, and if I had those two systems alone, I would have so much stuff to entertain me. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, here's an interesting question for you, Darby, and I think this may need a lot of thinking about, and it is, and it is what would you say is the best song your band has made? The song my band has made? Hmm. I don't know. So part of me. Well, probably the songs that people like the most would have to be the best ones, right? I don't know. Um, I, mean, I like the ones all, where we like, all, all your write. opinion, so. <laughs> I like the ones that we all write together. Um, but some of our best songs, maybe I have written most of too, um, that people like. But then there's ones that. Yeah, I say of our older stuff with the uh beth the uh, girl singer and jim where we all three wrote those are probably the best songs we've written i don't know that's that's too hard for me to answer (laughs) i don't know man i I don't like i don't like complimenting my own stuff and uh it's just hard for me to answer that kind of stuff i definitely understand it would also be hard for you i mean (laughs) when when you're in a band and you're making songs like of course you will be having a very hard time in describing which is your favorite like there's a ton of favorites there, and at the same time, it's very hard to pick just one. As a band, you'll always like your newest stuff the most, because the stuff you played the least amount, you get excited to play something different. Exactly. My favorite Scratches songs are, uh, of the, the recent ones, I loved Cracks, I loved Pull the Plug, because they're easy to sing along to. I mean, those are like radio hits, you know. They're I wrote so, those ones. I feel you on so the Pull good. the Plug. And it's then, kinda... uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I, I was gonna say of the older ones, there's a song called Hippo Chrissy that I, I really like. Ooh. I love that bass riff in the intro, and uh, that's I, that's the one that I go back to the older albums to listen to like time and again. That's a cool song. I like uh, there's kind of a joke with the band, that's it. I write songs or like one phrase over and over and i do that on purpose so that people can learn the songs super quick whereas like jim will write really wordy choruses which might have more thought put them into them but i just Hmm. i always write really simple stuff yeah yeah that's awesome easy to sing along to yeah so how long does editing videos usually take if i may ask uh depends like Diagonal Mario has been doing really well on the channel. So the third episode of that I edited for seven hours yesterday. I just kept re-editing it, trying to make it perfect because I I wanted it to do well. But usually I would say it takes at least twice as long as recording took. So a 30-minute video might take an hour to two hours to edit. Yeah. Depends. Depends if you're just doing jump cuts or if you're adding extra goofy things, you know, stuff like that will really change. Yeah. The more assets you use, of course, the more time it will take. Yeah, like, I mean, I designed that little Knuckles Nemo Elmo <laughs> doll. That took me, like, uh-huh. ten minutes, and it's shown <laughs> it in the worth. video for, like, three seconds. <laughs> it was worth it for the bit. 
Yeah. yeah. Darby is way better at editing than I am, but I think that he spends a lot more time doing it too. So I'm, I'm not very good at it, but I just want to get it over with. So I go real fast and like jump cuts and that's it. But, um, I, I was so feeling you there at time Slayer. Quick. Editing at all yeah. though is so important. I think if you want to succeed. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Um, You'll notice the really big guys, if you ever watch them play like a ROM hack or something, a lot of times they'll just cut out stuff to where you miss a lot of the levels. They just literally show you the best parts. And I think it's probably why they're so successful is they take that leap of saying, you know what? I don't care if I only showed two seconds of this level onto the next and I'll just edit in only the good parts. And I think that's could be a good move. Agreed, but I'm glad this is yep. Failed Gamer's channel at the moment, because, of course, that, that means every time you fail, you'll get to watch it no matter what. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, that's why I did myself in when I chose this channel name. Yeah, it's Perfect. smart. Yeah. All right, so... What would you... Have you ever considered doing a Draw My Life video? No. No, <laughs> I, I do know what they are. Um, oh, draw my I, life. I thought you said drama life. And I was like, <laughs> no, uh, that we might be interested in some drama yeah. life. It'd be like real housewives. <laughs> <laughs> we could do yeah, I guess I would do that. <laughs> Darby and Lair, real housewives of BTG. Got you. All right. Draw so my life. I've been requested to do, but I, I don't think I will do it. But I think it's a neat thing. Yeah, I would agree on it being a very neat thing, and I, yet I wouldn't really say it's the best focus for any kind of channel that's mostly focused on, let's say, gaming at the moment. I would say yeah. it's more better when you're, like, when you're going more into, like, in real life stuff, or, like, rather, like, going more about just talking about your life in general, yeah, then it's maybe gonna be a perfect timing for it. But when your video, yeah. when your channel has mostly gaming related, it's just like, uh, oh, this this doesn't really fit in with the theme. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to throw out there that if Darby ever does do a Draw My Life, he should do it in Mario Paint, because that's never been done before. Oh, yeah. That would be a good video. Mario Paint, Draw My Life. Get that's on That's a cool it. idea. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that one. That would be perfect. <laughs> it just combines the two of them, like gaming and Draw My Life, perfectly. Yeah. All right, so... What is your favorite type of animal? Dog. The mighty buffalo. <laughs> we got the mighty no, buffalo really and the dog. I love bison. They're so cool. cool animals. Desert island, deserted island. Yeah, I could eat a buffalo yeah. a lot longer than you could eat a dog. <laughs> I don't want to eat them. I was on it. If I was on an island, well, you'd have to eventually. No, 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 no. What if there was no animals? Would you rather have an animal companion that you couldn't eat? If I was in a situation where I was maybe going to starve to death, even a little bit, potentially, I mean, it might be eat, better to have that would bison. Would you eat me if it was just me and you? That's not the question. <laughs> well, would you? I, look. Wait, wait, wait. So if you got attached to your bison, which is impossible because bisons don't give you the love that a dog not at you. They'd stand there and they go, oh, oh. they not at you. Well, I don't know what kind of dogs you have, but my dogs do a lot more than just not at me. Well, so do mine. I love them. They fart and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I would probably just stop eating sand. So if a bison and a dog fall off of a tall building at the same time, you're going to reach your hand out and grab the bison? That's impossible. I can never catch a bison. So your catch favorite, a dog. Your favorite animal is a dog then that okay it you have a hippo and you have a <laughs> steamboat <laughs> you're this is not apples apples to apples here <laughs> i proved it man i proved it yeah that was pretty good you got me i guess dogs then Lair hates bisons you heard <laughs> it here yep. yep only dogs no bisons get out of here with that you All like right, m so bison from street fighter no nah, he's my least favorite it's not the word bison I'm attached to. I understand how you could be confused by that. <laughs> it's actually the animal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah. All right, so what is your favorite thing to do in the whole world? Like, what is the favorite thing you can imagine doing? Hmm. Man, if I had all the time in the world... I don't know. I don't want to say just playing video games all the time, because that's not what I would want to do. But if I had all the time in the world and I could split my time between growing a garden and playing video games, that's what I would do. Because I... The, what those was my question? Spend. If you could just do one thing. Well, Darby, I mean, if you. Well, yeah, here's you what I'm thinking. Day. Here's what I'm thinking: <laughs> eating or sleeping. Both of my two favorites. I love <laughs> eating food, and I no, love only one, only one. So if you choose sleep, you only get like three days. I'm done. basically dead. If I yeah, can't. basically. <laughs> <laughs> And that was how Darby <laughs> ended his life. He just left <laughs> slept for it. Right. He did he died doing uh, what he loved doing, and that was sleeping indeed. and nothing else. <laughs> that would be the best way to go though. Sleeping. I mean Yeah, I mean you're not wrong. Sleeping, starving to death. Not at this death. age. But as right. an old man, hopefully that's option comes up. Hopefully someone's like, You wanna sleep forever? And I'll be like, sure. Yeah. Well So I have yeah, good news now. <laughs> I have finally some good news. Okay. So um, the recording has gone well so far, and we ran out of questions. Oh, oh it means okay. it's over. Perfect. Yeah, and another good fact is, both of you didn't run away from me, and we've been on a voice chat for over one hour, so I guess I wasn't that bad to be with. <laughs> not at all, not at yeah. all. Thanks for having awesome. us. It was, it was fun. Yeah. It was lovely to have you two, by the way. Like, it was, it has been very fun to be interacting with you, and... I definitely would uh, hope we could do something like this similarly later as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because awesome. this is actually quite fun. And as we can see, uh, we already have come to talking about bisons. We're talking about dogs saving one. We're talking about Darby <laughs> sleeping to death. <laughs> this has been such a great the time. You go. <laughs> all, the, all the bullet points. We hit them all. Exactly. Mm hmm. And and then you also got you two asked each other questions while I had to go fix a phone. Yeah, enjoy those questions. They're pretty good. I, I, I'm 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 really looking forward to watching that. <laughs> like while editing, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys ask each other. <laughs> You're saying they better be about me. <laughs> that way they were. Wow. All right. Well, thank you guys for uh, watching. Oh, well, oh, gosh, no. <laughs> this is when you we, we fail. We do our outros about ten times every time. Oh, it's so yeah. hard to do an outro with other the people. The worst is I was trying to talk to you guys, and then I was saying, thanks for watching, but you guys aren't even watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know where my mind went right there. Well, thank you guys for <laughs> joining in, and thank you guys for letting me interview you. It has been such a pleasure to have you as the first guests. And I'm really looking forward to see what happens next. Awesome. Well, thanks for having us. Thank yeah. you. And I'm very thankful that you took your time to answer a lot of these questions because there were like over 40 questions. <laughs> Just <laughs> felt right. like 34. I'm glad there were six minus then. <laughs> Isn't that like a world in uh, Mario, six minus? Yeah, sure. Great, then it fits perfect to the Mario theme. No one can call this video Mario related. Yeah. <laughs> Six minus questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you all. It's been such a pleasure, and I really hope we can do something like this again because it's really fun to be around. We had fun too, man. You have like, a good yeah. day. Yeah, like, I can tell you two guys really have a good chemistry, like, talking together and doing videos together, and I can tell that you guys are perfect when it comes to doing videos together, honestly. Well, Thanks. thank you. And, well, it's been a very great time to have you, and i definitely love it if we could do this again, because, well, I'm just saying something about you two, I mean, we're, well, we're the failure trio, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I just Same make stuff did. up. Whoa, whoa. No, <laughs> I, I got it. The message. Yeah, yeah Something yeah. about us all three is failures. Oh gosh. Yeah. Thanks, failure. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds so much worse time. than I thought in 
uh, like at the first time. So I guess I'm failing in data already. <laughs> now this is what my channel is about. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. And well, do you two have anything to say before I end the recording? And I'll let you do anything you want. Say anything. Go on. Are you uh, sure you want to give us that kind of power? <laughs> oh yeah. Just say anything. The worst case scenario, <laughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> Good oh. thinking. Uh, thumbs up the video and uh, subscribe to Failure. Yeah, and go to www.btgknucklesmemeelmo.com backslash shop and get your Knuckles <laughs> Meme Elmo before the yes. Christmas season. It's going to be hard to get one, and you really want to hurry. You want to go now. Go now. Go fast. Hurry. Indeed. Yes, Actually, they're... Considering it, like we're going to talk about merch like real quick before I end, I want to ask you a question, Darby. Okay. When is a BTG plushie coming? Ah, man, I would love that to happen. Those would be so know. adorable be to have. I bet I could get them made somewhere. Yeah, it would be really cool. And I think it would be a lot of love, like seeing a blue television, like just a plushie version just stay somewhere or sit somewhere. That would be cute for sure. A layer you have to make that green owl a plushie. <laughs> <laughs> like just so we can just have a green owl somewhere in the room for no reason whatsoever. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you all and thanks Darby for the last message. And layer for sure people have to check out that Elmo thing abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Got to. Got to. Oh yeah. Well, thank see you all for watching and see you guys later. Goodbye. I promised to wrap, but yeah, I'm, I'm watching here, so I'm very sorry I have to lower the volume. I'm so sorry you guys hear me twice. Anyways, I promised to wrap, so... Uh, uh, but but it is not the same thing is happening with the World Cup. I think I think so too much of the world, and I don't have a chance of chance. Can we do not hard drive? And I think I have been us. Even if so, but it will ensure that you have a bad... Have a chance to go Trish. Okay, you won't have been losing a bad time at the same thing. It's happening with my first baby. You got this. You got to snap a lot more leave. I I have no clue what that means. Anyways, um, I'll end the stream here for now. Thanks to Darby and Leah for being so wholesome. Gosh, they're amazing people, honestly. And uh, well, I'll stream more real soon. Basically, I'll just quit the stream and open up a new so. Come join.